This is chapter five, lesson three, theorems involving multiple parallel lines. I'm on page 181 and I'm gonna do problem number 16. In this problem, I'm given a triangle and I'm given that this median segment is the median segment of this triangle. It's given to me that it's parallel to the base and that it's cutting the other two sides into congruent segments. Now I need to solve for x and for y. So I'm going to say that I'm going to solve this uh, diagram for x and for y. I'll solve for x first. If the median segment is 3x plus 5 and the base is 12x minus 8, I know that this median segment will be 1 half of the base. Therefore, I'm going to set up this equation to say that 3x plus 5 will equal one half of the base, which is 12x minus eight. Now I'm going to distribute that one half term. Three x plus five will equal, and as I distribute that one half term, one half of 12x is six x, and one half of eight is four. Three x plus five equals six x minus four. Now I'm going to add 4 to both sides and subtract 3x from both sides. And I get 9 equals 3x. At this point, I'm going to divide both sides by 3. And I solve that x equals 3. If I wanted to error check that answer and make sure that I got the right answer, I would plug that value back into these two equations and make sure that my median came out to be one half of the base. So let's do that real quick in our heads. If x equals 3, then 3 times x would be 9 plus 5 would be 14. So this median should be 14. I'm expecting that this base then would have to be 28. Let's see if it is. 3 times 12 is 36. 36 minus 8 is 28. Well, that, that's great. It works. I've double checked my work, and now I know that I've gotten the right answer. X definitely has to equal 3. Now let's solve for Y. If this is a median line, then this is the midpoint of this side of the triangle. Therefore, I know that this line segment is congruent to that line segment. If that's the case, then I just set these two equations equal to each other. So I know that 4y plus 2 will equal, and I'm just going to distribute this 7, 7y minus 7. I'm going to add 7 to both sides, subtract 4y to both sides, and I have 9 equals 3y. Divide by 3 on both sides. And I saw that y also equals 3. I hesitated there for a moment because I thought y equals 3, x equals 3. I'm a little suspicious. I wonder if I did something wrong. Well, let's plug that value back in and error check if this is the right answer or not. If y equals 3, then 4 times 3 would be 12, plus 2 would be 14. I would expect that this would also have to be 14 then. It would have to be congruent. 3 minus 1 is 2. 2 times 7 is also 14. Okay, I definitely did it right then. So I solved that x equals 3 and y equals 3.